What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to compare the budget Galaxy A12 with the Apple iPhone 12. Two very, very great phones. One offers a lot of value. The other one is a very powerful phone. Let's go ahead and get started. So first I'm going to go through the specs and compare each of these spec by spec. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you which one you should get, which one is an overall better value, pros and cons. Let's go ahead and get started. So both of these phones were released in 2020. The A12 um, has a price tag is of only 180 bucks and lower. You could regularly find it for $150 unlocked dual SIM on Amazon, for example, and on eBay. And you could also find it free on prepaid, like Metro, for example, here in the US. The iPhone 12 has a brand new price of $800, and you could get it on prepaid, you could get it on postpaid, but yes, it's a very uh, leaning towards more expensive device, but it's a flagship level device. A12 is a 4G LTE device, while the iPhone 12 is 5G. Both speeds of LTE and 5G are pretty good for most people. Um, unless you really need good speed uh, and you have it coverage in your area, the iPhone 12 has it better. For the overall size, the A12 is 6.4 inches tall, 3 inches wide, 0.35 inches thick. The iPhone 12 is smaller, 5.7 inches tall, 2.8 inches wide, 0.29 inches thick. For the weight, the A12 weighs 7.2 ounces, iPhone 12 very light at 5.7 ounces. For the build quality, A12 is a glass front, plastic back, plastic frame, iPhone 12 premium, glass front, glass back, aluminum frame. Now the A12, the unlocked model has a dual SIM capability, so you have two SIM cards and have two different phone numbers, two different um, data plans at the same time. The iPhone 12 is kind of similar, um, has a physical SIM card, but it also has a eSIM as well. So you have dual SIM capability on both of these devices. The iPhone 12 also offers IP68 dust and water resistance, which the A12 does not. Next is the display. The A12 has a 6.5 inch IPS screen. The iPhone 12 has a 6.1 inch Super Retina display. So you have an overall bigger size screen on the A12. 82% screen to body ratio on the Galaxy. iPhone uh, has 86% screen to body ratio. For the resolution, the A12 has 720p. The iPhone 12 has a 1170 by 2532 pixels, which means for the PPI, you're getting 270 PPI in the A12, 460 PPI in the iPhone 12. Uh, 270 is on the lower end. Anything above 400 is really good, like on the iPhone 12. The software, the A12 launched with Android 10, but it upgraded to Android 11 with Samsung UI on top. The iPhone 12 launched with iOS 14 and continues to get updates. It will get them for five years. The A12 has a more customizable Samsung feel, very unique. Uh, a lot of people like it. It'll feel just like you have a uh, S21 with the software. The iPhone 12 will feel the exact same software as a more premium, more expensive iPhone uh, 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max. For the chipset, the A12 is rocking a MediaTek Helio processor. A4, the A iPhone 12 has an A14 Bionic. So the better chip is the more powerful Bionic on the iPhone 12. But both of these phones will let you download all your favorite apps on both um, app stores. And it's just going to feel a little bit different. You can have um, the iPhone 12 will offer you iOS only apps like such as FaceTime, iMessage, AirDrop, and iMovie, just to name a few. The more faster phone is going to be the iPhone 12 with the chipset, but um, the A12 is not going to be too far behind, especially for average users using everyday tasks. It won't be that slow. It will be pretty okay. As for storage, the A12, well, depending on where you get it, you'll either get a 32 gig or 64 gig model for the base storage. iPhone 12 um, starts off at 64 gigs. For the RAM, you get either three gigs or four gigs of RAM on the A12, which is okay for the average person that's more than enough. The iPhone 12 at four gigs is very good because iOS uh, is very efficient with the RAM. Bonus on the A12, you could expand the storage via a micro SD card slot. So the storage uh, department win goes for the A12. Now for the camera, the A12 has four cameras on the back, 48 megapixel main, five megapixel Ultra wide, two megapixel macro, two megapixel depth. iPhone 12, two cameras in the back. Uh, 12 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide. 
You got 1080p video on the A12, 4K video on the iPhone 12. Now, the better overall camera for pictures and video is going to be the iPhone 12. The A12 is still a pretty okay camera. It'll satisfy most people taking a quick shot in the right light or outside, taking a quick video or picture and uploading it to social media or sending it via message to your friend. You'll have no problems with that. But if you're really serious and really care about video and, and photography quality, the iPhone 12 wins it hands down. It is best in class. Now for the selfie, you have an eight megapixel shooter on the A12, 12 megapixel shooter on the iPhone 12. You got 1080p video for the selfie on the A12, 4K video on the iPhone 12. So overall better selfie cameras, the iPhone 12. One bonus for the A12, it has a headphone jack. Well, the iPhone 12 does not. So you could connect your headphones, your mic, uh, or connect it to your car via aux cord to listen to music. So a big win for the A12 in that department. And for wireless, both of these are very good. You got Bluetooth 5.0, so that means you can connect your headphones, your uh, smartwatch, your wearables, your smart band, or your wireless speakers with no problem with both of these devices. Uh, you're gonna get NFC on both of these, uh, but the, be careful, it depends by market on the A12. The iPhone 12 is, uh, uh, NFC will basically be used for Apple Pay. You got USB Type-C charging port on the A12, lightning port on the iPhone 12, the more versatile port is the USB Type-C because it's found on uh, not just phones, but on tablets and on computers. For the unlocking and security, you got a side-mounted fingerprint reader on the A12, you got Face ID on the iPhone 12. Both ways are reliable and fast ways to unlock your device. And last but not least is the battery. The A12 comes through with that gigantic, humongous 5,000 milliamp battery. iPhone 12 has an approximate 2,800 milliamp battery. Both of these will last you all day, but the A12 will get you through the second day, no problem. These phones both offer fifth, uh, fast charging. You got 15 watts on the A12, 20 watts on the iPhone 12, which should get you 50% in 30 minutes. Also, you get magnetic charging via MagSafe. All right, so I just went through all the specs. You pretty much know everything you need to know about both of these phones and which one you should get. But I'm going to tell you what you should be looking at, what should be the things that stand out, what should be important. Well, the price, obviously, if you get the A the A12 for free, you should cop that device. It's a very good free device. And if you get it even at 150 bucks, it does offer a lot of good things. It's still a good deal even over the iPhone 12. It has that big battery. It has micro SD card slot. It has a headphone jack. It just uh, has four cameras in the back, which is more than enough for most people. So you're good right there. The iPhone 12 is, uh, it does have a big price tag, but this phone will get you five years worth of updates. So it's like having this phone for five years and you're gonna be using the best software or the most updated software anyways. Alongside that, if you have a lot of friends with um, that use iPhones, you're gonna have iMessage, you're gonna have FaceTime, you're gonna have AirDrop, you're gonna have iMovie. You got a better overall camera with the iPhone 12. The battery is okay, but you do get a smaller screen. Um, the, A the A12 does have a nice big screen. That's another thing uh, that's a benefit for the A12. Build quality is better on the iPhone 12. So give or take, I still think the A12 is actually a better value than the iPhone 12, but the, A the iPhone 12 is a really really good device if you're going to use it for several several years it is a flagship but it's not expensive like a thousand dollar iphone this one's eight hundred dollars but be remember it's uh, the build quality is good and you're going to get all the software and the updates now it's up to you guys what do you think do you would you rather pick the samsung galaxy a12 with the software and the battery and the uh, micro SD card and all the extras, or do you prefer the iOS iPhone 12? Do you prefer the high quality um, pictures of the camera? Let me know in the comments below, which one would you rather pick or which one do you think is a better value? Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.